Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be... Okay, Lunar is going to interrupt. Excuse me. Lunar, excuse me. Thanks. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a favorites video and just talk to you guys about some of my recent stationery favorites because it feels like this month and since I pretty much moved back home I have been stationery crazy again and I've been purchasing all kinds of new fun stationery items that I've really come to love and use very regularly so I hope that you guys are excited to see some things that I've been loving recently so right here you can see I have two Hobonichis so my first favorite is the Tokyo cover on cover for the A5 or the A6 Hobonichi, so the original slash planner slash techo, whatever you want to call it. So I really love this cover. Let me open it up all the way. Hopefully you'll be able to see it despite my light. Um, so yeah, there's like night view and there's like Shibuya, there's cats, there's like the different um, sightseeing buses, ramen, uh, the Tokyo Tower, and Roppongi, all kinds of different things that if you've ever been to Tokyo, you would have seen or gotten a chance to experience. And Lunar seems like he wants to come and hang out with us today. I think it's because I'm filming in front of the window. This is like his favorite place in the whole world to be. So that is my first favorite and we're going to come back to this in a second because I want to show you this which is my uh, black is it S-S-A-C-K is it SAC I don't know if it is or not cover for the A6 as well so this is quite a few years old but I found it recently on buy.jp and I had to pick it up so it's pretty much in perfect condition despite some mess that I've made on it and the previous owner actually snipped off the bookmark that was here, which is fine because I don't typically love to use the bookmarks anyway. So I really do love this cover, but as you can see, it gets a little bit fingerprinted and there's definitely um, some type of like a cat hair magnet in this thing. So kind of have to um, like get a lint roller and roll that off, but I really enjoy it. So let me open this up really quickly. So I love this and these are actually two of my other favorites for this, um, I don't want to say this month, but as of recent. So we have this blue stencil which has all of the weather icons, which is what I've been using a lot recently. And then this, the green stencil from Hobonichi as well. And I've been loving it for this little line here because it's perfect for tracking an 8 hour work day. And also the little boxes, the check boxes and the little speech bubble always come in handy as well. So since I mentioned these things, I want to show you how I've been using these recently. My dilemma with Hobonichi is that I love the size of the cousins weekly layout, but I think the daily pages are just a little too large for me. So I've been trying to experiment a little bit and I'm also not like super fond of this the weekly um supplemental book for the a6 but i tried to make do and it just doesn't quite do it justice for me i just wish that these were a little bit wider so what i have been experimenting with a little bit is making my own weekly layout in my a6 so i have just been kind of separating it out so whereas in the weekly let me flip back to that really quickly if I can find that page. In here, it looks like you only have one, two, three, four, five, six squares for each day. Whereas if you do it yourself in the daily pages, and for me, I could do this on like a Saturday and a Sunday, so I could have all my daily pages during the week or vice versa, whatever works. So in here, you actually get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You get two extra squares. So it just feels large enough to actually write in here, but still not too big. So I really love this. And as you can see, I've been using the little line from the green stencil to mark off my work day. And then I've been using the little weather trackers down at the bottom. And then I record the high and the low temperature next to that. So you can kind of play around with this. This was my first attempt at it and I really like how this turned out. And then I decided to try it once again in a little bit different. 
uh, layout with like the top and the headings and I still really like it so I think that this works for me and the reason why on here you can see that all the days start at the same um, height whereas on here I started at the top is because I actually am going to be trying out an English Techo for this year so as you can see on their daily pages here, there aren't the extra little check boxes, so I can't really bring Saturday up to the top. So I'm just gonna have to do it straight across. But this, I really like that it's like a charcoaly gray base, so you can decorate it up with any color you want. Because to be honest, a lot of the colors in the other Hobonichi, while I think that the layout is really fantastic, there are just certain colors that I'm not crazy about. So I think it'll work out better for me when I feel like just decorating how I want to, to have a more basic color instead of like the purple, even though I love the purple and it's one of my favorite colors that is in the Hobonichi. But so those have been my favorites recently trying out that weekly layout. So I guess I'm just conflicted at this point though, because now I have a cousin in a six and a week for next year and I don't know how I'm going to utilize them all yet, but I'm going to try to figure it out. I may... Um, try to use my weeks a little bit differently this year so I can use this new layout that I've been trying um, and I'm I actually purchased the red weeks and I'm going to be DIYing that because I wasn't thrilled with almost any of the covers from Hobonichi this year I'm really disappointed so I decided you know what I'm gonna just buy one and I'm gonna deal like DIY it up and make it my own so hopefully you guys will stick around for that video hopefully that will be coming out in the next couple of weeks um, I'm really excited to see how that turns out so moving on my next recent favorite is my zebra mild liners there's one color in particular which is this here it's like a really pretty yellowy orange color let me get a piece of paper so I can swatch it for you and you can see instead of just me terribly explaining it okay so it's like a pretty like it has a little bit of like a mustardy hint to it but also has like an orangey color to it. It's really beautiful and I never really expected myself to love that color so much. Um, some of the other colors I've been enjoying always this beautiful pastel purple color. I think that this is just like my all-time favorite color just in general so we can't go wrong with that. Um, I've also been enjoying this color as well. Um, when I, If I find the color names I will put them somewhere on the screen because I know that they actually do have color names. So this is a beautiful color as well. And then I've also been enjoying this kind of like a periwinkle color as well. But it doesn't really swatch so much as a periwinkle as it looks in the container, but it's a nice deepish blue. So I actually think I like this color palette together. Maybe I'll try to use this in an upcoming video. Huh, I don't think I even realized that those would work together. So really, really, really been enjoying these. And I have a new pack of them on the way. They released some new colors recently. So I'm looking forward to trying those ones out as well. And then speaking of writing utensils, we may as well talk about these now. I recently picked up some of the Tombow ABT markers. So these are dual tip markers. So one side has a like felt it's kind of like a moldable felt tip so you could push it and do like calligraphy and things with it and then on the other side it has a smaller little marker head I'm sure you guys have seen this a million times that I'm just really late to getting on the ba bandwagon here so I have three colors I'll list the names up on the screen but these are just amazing the pink is showing up a little washed out on camera but it is a very light pink um i want to see if it would show up any more true to color not really but these are fantastic and i can't wait to try out some more of these colors and then my other favorite marker type utensils this month have been the copic multi-liner in 0 0.03 this is in i believe cool gray oh yeah it's right there cool gray so that has been oh hello that has been really fun to play around with this month because it's a super thin gray 
you know, I use it just as I would a normal marker or a normal pen, but you can use it, of course, for art and things like that. And then I've also been enjoying the Zig Mangaka 0, 0.0, or this one's just 005, and I really like the Zig Millennium, but I haven't been able to find it in the size that I've been looking for, so this is actually a great alternative for that if you enjoy that one as well. I've also been really enjoying my Pentel Sleecy 0.25 yet again. Just a really fantastic fine tipped pen. So you can't go wrong with this. Um, excuse me? Excuse me? Okay, I've also been absolutely loving my Muji stick scissors. These are fantastic. I need to kind of degunk them though because they have some of the washi tape adhesive still stuck to them, but I just like them because they're a more minimalistic design and they work really, really well. So love these. And I've also been enjoying this new ruler that I picked up from Jet Pens. This works so fantastically to help me draw the layout for the weekly um, thing I've been doing in the A6. So I like that it's clear so you can see right through it. And these dots and these little squares actually help to line up really well so you get a lot straighter lines. And for decoration purposes, I've been loving these Plus Petite Deco Rushes. Um, I have picked up a couple of new ones recently. This one being one of my favorites. It's a more like pastel it's kind of like those colors that I picked from the mod liner, so maybe I'm just in this kind of mood lately. But this one is a more pastel squares. Then I have this one, which is some little triangles. And then we have this one here, which is the kanji for rest. And then I have this hospital one, since I now work in a hospital. And then I also just Got this one last night, I believe it came in the mail after I got back from my afternoon shift. And this is just like a dot. Um, this one's more of like a decoration than functional, which is fine. But it's one of the wider ones, whereas these ones are slim. So love these. And I always use this pencil case. I don't, I'm sure that you've noticed that. And this is one of my favorites because it has this little compartment here. So you can actually fit one of these in there, or what I like to do is put in a whiteout. So I have a small whiteout that's pretty much the exact size as this, and you could throw that in there. I don't know if you could fit two of these. Um, you actually may be able to, uh, almost. I Just not quite, it seems like. That's a bummer, because that would be pretty awesome. But yeah, <laughs> so these are really fun to play around with. So you can throw one of these in this little pencil case, and this is the double pencil case from Muji. So I've had one of these, um, I picked up one of these when I was in Japan last summer. So not 2017, but 2016, and it has held up flawlessly. So I decided to pick up a second one because I just cannot live without this. And then I'm pretty sure most of you know about my love for this brand of washi. So this is from the brand J-M-K-A-K-A. -A. If there's a way to pronounce that, let me know, but I'm not too sure. So I've recently gotten back into this a lot more and I've picked up a few more rolls. These are the ones that are already here and I have, I hate to say it, but I have 13 more on the way. Um, and I decided to pick up a couple of extras that I already have because I want to do a giveaway soon. So if you guys are interested, keep an eye out for that. I'll be announcing that pretty soon as soon as all of the stuff gets here. But I have been purchasing these from Taobao, which is a Chinese um, website. And I was always convinced that the person who runs the Itenmodo Etsy shop was the creator of these washies, but it seems that that isn't the case. And it's a little less expensive to buy it straight from the artist. So she actually, or he or she actually has their own Taobao account where you can buy directly from them. So it's a little bit cheaper but you just have to be a little more patient because it is coming from China. So, I love the washi so much. Oh, the dog is barking. 
Lunar hates the dog's bark. Does that freak you out, baby? Oh, he's spooked. He's spooked. Huh? Okay. He's gonna have to go check it out. Heck no. I'm home alone. There's no freaking way I'm answering the door. Mm -mm. I don't think so. No, there's cat hair everywhere again. This is just gonna be a literally a full video of just bloopers because nothing is going right today and it's gloomy so the lighting is horrible. And I have to go to work in like an hour and a half. So I'm just trying to get this done and nothing's going right. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna try to continue now that the barking has stopped. So, seems like a lot of my favorites kind of go hand in hand this month. So, as I said, I'm obsessed with that washi brand. So they actually have come out with washi stickers. So I always make stickers out of that washi tape because it's just my favorite, but they actually sell them already as stickers. So this one is, I think this is like a cold pursuit or something. It's all about like all of like the cold sweets and things like that. So you, in this one there is 10 designs and you get two of each design. And I think they're like two bucks or something like that. And then this one is a Japan travel one. And this one there is nine designs. You get two of each in here as well. And since I love those so much, um, I actually purchased quite a few of them that all came together in one order. That was like one of the first things I placed, one of the first orders I placed on Taobao. So I've had these for a little while. This is the King Jim sticker flake organizer. So this has been a lifesaver for my other sticker flakes, but my collection was never that large. But you guys may have seen the gray ones for the actual sticker sheet. So I love these so much and they actually, also sell these on Taobao cheaper than I found before, so I also have some of those on the way. But what has been so great is that I've been able to put my new washi stickers all in here. So what I've done using my Muji sticker or my Muse my Muji scissors is I've cut off the front of this and then I've pasted it here so I know which um, collection it's from. And then on the back, I've also cut this out and I've duck those in this little pocket up front. So I have quite a few already. So I put them in order of how they're in the book. So I have quite a few in here. So I can just kind of reference this and then compare it to the sticker that's on the front and I'll know what stickers are in each pocket. So I have these really cute Sailor Moon ones. This one I really love, it's sick because I love the face mask. I think that that is just so cute. Um, coffee time, even though I'm not a huge coffee drinker, I still thought this was super cute. This one is called Meow. It might even be Meow Meow Meow. Okay, focus. Hello. And it's all about this girl and her cat, which is literally me in my life. Um, like chores. This is sisters, which I think is cute because I do have a sister. And then this one is kind of almost like a dreamy, like sleepy time. Almost reminds me of Alice in Wonderland a little bit, but it's just because it's just like sleepy time and like little bunnies and cute little animals and things like that so this has been a lifesaver this took way longer to set up than I wish it would have but let me just push this stuff a little bit to the side so you can see it so I just have those taped in to the front on this flap so that will come out and then all the stickers are in the little pockets so I have a couple of those in here and I have a new another folder of this on the way, so I'm gonna actually transfer all of these out so they have their own folder all together. But then this is just where I keep like my other sticker flakes, which I like it for that too. But I just love that now these will have their own place. So I think that's pretty much it. Um, I know that there have been a lot of favorites this month. Um, I've just been really experimenting a little bit more with my stationery, which it's always a good thing. I think sometimes when you get, you can get stuck when you don't try out new things and then it's just not fun anymore. And here's also, forgot to show you guys, this is some of the new, these are some of the new stickers that I made from the new washies that I picked up. So these are really cute. I couldn't resist them. I've already used quite a few of them. So thank you guys for watching this favorites video. Hopefully you enjoy this type of video. If you do, make sure to like it so I know that you want to see this in the future. I haven't really done a favorites video up until this point, so not sure if that's what you guys like to see or not, but I don't really know if you care because I'm just, 
you know, another person. I don't know if you really care about what my favorites are, but maybe if we have similar um, tastes, maybe you will enjoy seeing some of my favorites. Thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure to like it if you enjoyed. Subscribe to stick around for more videos and check out my other videos if you haven't already. I'm going to be filming a Q&A in the near future, so make sure to leave comments and questions down below. They can be about anything, not just stationary. If there's anything you want to know about me or my life or my cat, then just leave them down below and I will make sure to answer them in my upcoming Q&A. So thanks again so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!